Aloha and welcome to Maui Craft Kitchen's very first cooking class in a new series that I'm calling MCK 101 where I'm going to teach you the kitchen basics that are going to elevate your home cooking skills and have all your friends wanting to come over to your house for dinner. If that sounds good to you, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content. Class has begun! In today's class, I'm going to show you the proper way to peel and seed tomatoes so that you can make things like pizza sauce and marinara at home completely from scratch. So let's get right down to it and work some of that Maui magic. All right, let's hear it for Rod, our camera guy. He is doing a stand-up job, isn't he? Rod is new to Maui. He is single and ready to mingle, ladies. So leave your comments for Rod in the section below. But anyway, enough about Rod, let's get back to the tomatoes. So, how do you peel a tomato? No, I I'm kidding, we don't actually use this to peel a tomato. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a little paring knife, just like this guy. Just a small knife that'll do the trick. And slowly go around the core of the tomato and just pop that out, just like I've done here. And then flip that guy over and just make a little X, just deep enough to pierce the skin to make for easy peeling later. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my tomatoes. You go ahead and do the rest of yours. Next, what you'll need is one pot of boiling water. Make sure it's at a rolling boil because when we drop these tomatoes in, we want it to come back up to temperature as quickly as possible. These are only going to be in there about 20 seconds or so. You're also going to need ice water. As soon as we pull them out of here, we're going to shock them. As soon as you put them into ice water from hot water, that's called shocking. So we're going to shock them in this ice water and that's going to stop the cooking process immediately. All right, take a few of your tomatoes, drop them right in there. You only want to do a few at a time, otherwise you're going to drop the temperature of the water, and that's not good. We want to keep this water a rolling boil. So just 20 seconds, you'll start to see the skin start to come off. Then we're going to drop them immediately from here with our slotted spoon into the ice bath to shock them and cool them down immediately while we grab the rest of our tomatoes and drop them in the hot bath. 20 more seconds, see you then. And immediately into the ice bath. Stir those around so they get cold quickly. And on to the next step. All right, great job guys. Couple easy steps, you're on a roll, you're doing this great. Next what you're gonna do is take one of your tomatoes, take that paring knife again, and just start to peel the edges back here from that slit that you've made before so that you just get the skin. It's gonna come off real easy from that blanching process that we did. When you drop something in hot water like that, it's called blanching. So you're gonna go all around the tomato and just grab these pieces of skin and just pull them off like that with all of your tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and do all of mine. You do all of yours and we'll see you back here. All right, that was easy, huh? So you've got all of your tomatoes nice and peeled. All we're going to do now is go ahead and cut each one right in half, just like that, exposing the seeds. Go ahead and do that and I'll see you in just a second. Easy stuff. Next, take your finger. Yeah, that's right. Finger. Yeah, get right in there. Don't be dirty with it. It's food, okay? It's a little sensual, but don't be dirty with it. And you're just going to pull all those seeds right out of there, just like that. Easy as pie. Give it a little rinse. If you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. Yeah, we all know. I was just playing with it. It's okay to play with your food when you're an adult. So go through and do all of your tomatoes just like that. And I'll see you in just a second after you do that. And that is it, my friends. You have successfully peeled and de-seeded all of your tomatoes. I'm proud of you. Now you can use your tomatoes to make things like pizza sauce or a rustic red sauce for pasta, which I'll hopefully be leaving a link for in one of these corners. Anyway, thank you all for your support. Many mahalos and much aloha. Class is officially out.